Hello dear students, this is grade 11 mathematics lesson on unit 6 matrix and determinants. In today's lesson, we focus on multiplication of matrices and determinants of 3 by 3 matrix. So, after revising this lesson, you are expected to multiply matrices and determine the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix. Now let's continue to the lesson. Two matrix A and B can be multiplied or we evaluate the product AB if and only if the number of columns of A must be equal to the number of rows of B. Number of rows of B. And if this is not happened, we cannot multiply AB. So to multiply two matrix A and B, the number of columns of A must be equal to the number of rows of B. And the operation is done by row by column in such a way that each element of the row is multiplied by the corresponding element of the column and then the products are added. So let's see this concept through example. Let's take this one. Let this one is matrix A and this matrix B. And we are asked to calculate A times B. Can we multiply these two? Let's see the size of this matrix. This matrix has two rows and three columns. This is two by three matrix. And this one it is 3 by 3 matrix. Therefore, the number of columns of the first matrix and the number of rows of second matrix are equal. Therefore, we can multiply A and B. So, we can multiply AB because the number of columns of A is, is the same as the number of rows of matrix B. So, let's see how to evaluate this one. AB is equal to the first matrix time, the second matrix. To multiply these two matrix, we do row by column. Simply, this the first row multiplies this column, not on this one, and again this row multiplies this column, and this row multiplies again the third column. So we multiply in this procedure. Let's see this one. Look, the first row, A11, A12, A13, multiply this one. A11, A12, A13 multiplies. This B11, B21, B31. Not only this one. This multiplies the next column. And this multiplies the third column too. This is for the first row part. For the second row, again, this, again, the second row also multiplies each column, each column. Therefore, this first row multiplies the first column, and this row multiplies the second column. This row multiplies the third. So let's see how to evaluate this one. Since the product of these two means, the product of these two means, A11, A12, A13 multiplied by B11, B21, B31, this equal to, it takes the product of the two, a11 times b11 plus a12 times 
B21 times A13 times A31. So we multiply this by this one, by this one, and this by this. So, and you add the result. So, using this concept, the product of the two will be this A11B1, A12B2, A13, B31. And the product of the two will be this. It is A11, B12, A12, B22, A13, B32. This one, you add the product. And for the other part, A11, B13, A12, B23, A13, B33. You get this one. Similarly, you can do for the second row. So you will have this. Now, this is uh, the procedure how to multiply matrix now let's see example for this concept. Now let's take two matrix A and B where A is this 2, 3, minus 4, 1 and B is this 0, 3, minus 5, 1, minus 2, and 6. Then you are asked to calculate A, B, and B, A. First let's try to find the product of A and B. So to find A times B, we need to check the number of columns of A must be equal to the number of rows of B. Matrix A has two columns and matrix B has two rows. So we can multiply A, B. Therefore, the product will be done in this form. A, B is equal to the product of the two matrix and the product is done by row by column. So these two, three, multiplies the column 2 3 multiplies 0 1 again this 2 3 multiplies 3 negative 2 again this 2 3 multiplies minus 5 6 not only this one in turn minus 4 1 multiplies this row this row again multiplies each column and so minus 4 1 multiplies 0 1 minus 4 1 multiplies 3 minus 2 and minus 4 1 multiplies this column and this minus 5, 6. So uh, the product will be the product of these two, just 2 multiplies 0, 3 multiplies 1. You get this one, 2 times 0 plus 3 times 1. And this also, 2 multiplies 3, 3 multiplies minus 2. You get this. And here, 2 multiplies minus 5 and 3 multiplies 6. Uh, for the second row, minus 4 multiplies 0 and 1 multiplies 1. Here, minus 4 multiplies 3, 1 multiplies minus 2 and you add. Uh, again here, minus 4 multiplies minus 5, 1 multiplies 6, and you add. So this is it. Simplifying this or evaluating this, you will have this one. 0 plus 3 is 3. 6 minus 6, this one is 0. This is negative 10 plus 18, it is 8. This part, this 0 plus 1 is 1. This part, it's minus 12, minus 2 it is, minus 14. The other part, negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. 20 plus 6 is 26. So the product of these two matrix is uh, this one. But here, uh, we are also asked to find what? B times A. B times A. To multiply B times A, let's see the size of these matrices. The size of uh, matrix B is this. It has two rows and three column, two by three. This it is two by three. And the size of matrix A it is two by two. Two by two. To evaluate this matrix, the number of columns of the first matrix must be the number of rows of second. But these two are not equal. Since these two are not equal, we cannot evaluate the matrix B times A. So here, here, B is not B is not defined because the number of columns of B is this three and the number of rows of A is two. So we cannot evaluate B times A. Now let's continue. Determinants of three by three matrix. Here to define the determinants of three by three matrix, it is useful to define the concepts minor and cofactors. 
We need these two things. So let's define these two. Let matrix A is given. Then the minor of IJ's entry is given by the determinant of AIJ, where AIJ is obtained by deleting the matrix obtained I's row and J's column. So this AIJ, this AIJ, the determinant of AIJ is, it is called the uh, minor of the entry AIJ. Now, the cofactor of the entry AIJ is obtained by this one. The cofactor is obtained by this one. Uh, negative one, the power of I plus J uh, times the determinant of uh, the minor, that's AIJ. And uh, as I said, this uh, AIJ is obtained by deleting uh, I's row and J's column of the given matrix. So let's see this concept through example. We are asked to find the minor and cofactor of 2 and 11 for this matrix. Now, applying the formula to find the minor of 2 first, I need to delete the i's rows and the j's column at which 2 is found. 2 is found here. 2 is found here. So, to the column 2 found, we have these numbers only, minus 3, minus 4, minus 7, 11. So, the determinant of this, the determinant of minus 3, minus 7, minus 4, 11, simply here, to find the minor of 2, you delete the row 2 found in the column. Therefore, the remaining part will be this minus 3, minus 7, minus 4, 11. Therefore, uh, this, the determinant of this will be this the minor of 2, the minor of 2. Therefore, uh, calculating the determinant of this, it is negative 3 times 11 for 2 white matrix simply. Uh, I multiply these two minus, you multiply this. So minus the product of negative 4 uh, and negative 7. So when you evaluate this, you get negative 61. Therefore, the minor of 2 is it is negative 61. So to find the cofactor, simply the cofactor of C22 is given by this negative 1. 2 is found uh, in the second row and second column. So C22 is equal to negative 1, the power of I plus J is this 2 plus 2. I's row and J's column. So 2 plus 2 times the minor of 2. Therefore, uh, negative 1, the power of 2 plus 2 it is, is 1 times the minor of 2 is it is negative 61. So the answer will be this negative 61. Next, let's see the minor of 11. The minor of 11. 11 is here. To find the minor of 11, what you do is simply you delete the row in the column that 11 found. So the row, you cancel the row and the column. The remaining part will be this negative 3, 4, 1, and 2. And you take the determinant of this. The determinant of this one is it is the minor of 11. Therefore, uh, when you evaluate this, negative 3 times 2 minus 1 times 4 the answer will be this negative 10 therefore the minor of 11 is it is negative 10 to find the cofactor simply you multiply the minor by negative 1 the power in which the row in the column of this function found the sum of the row in the column so negative 1 the power of this is found in third row in third column and so negative 1 the power of 3 plus 3 times by its minor. Therefore, this equal to negative 1, the power of 6, it is 1, times the minor of this 11, is this we are found to be negative 10, so the product of the two it is negative 10. So now, let's see how to calculate the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix. To calculate the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix, First, you have to choose any row or column and then multiply each entry by it is cofactor. You multiply each entry. First, you select any row or column and then you multiply each entry by its cofactor. Uh, and then you add 
up this product. So the determinant will be this, uh, the final result, the sum of the product of uh, the number with this cofactor. So let's see this through example. Here, this matrix is given, and we are asked to find the determinant of this matrix. Find the determinant of matrix A uh, to 1, 0, 1, 1, 4, minus 3, 2, 5. To determine determinant, as we said earlier, you can select any row or column. And then you multiply each entry by its cofactor and add up the products. So let's choose the first row. Just we have chosen this one, the first row. So after choosing this first row, 2 is multiplied by its cofactor plus 1 is multiplied by its cofactor plus 0 is also multiplied by its cofactor. So let's see this one. The determinant of A is equal to 2 times to find the cofactor of 2. Simply, this found in first row and first column, and 1, 1. So negative 1, the power of 1 plus 1 times Deleting the minor will be deleting this row and column, and the remaining part will be this part 1, 2, 4, 5. 1, 2, 4, 5. So 2 is multiplied by it is cofactor plus and take 1. 1 uh, times the cofactor of 1, 1 is found in first row and second column. So 1 plus 2, negative 1, the power of 1 plus 2 times by its minor. Minor simply delete the column in the row, you get 1, negative 3, 4, 5. 1, negative 3, 4, 5. Plus 0 times 0 is found on the first row in third column. So negative 1, the power of 1 plus 3 times is minor. So this will be deleting this column and this row, you will have this. 1, negative 3, 1, 2. So 1, negative 3, 1, 2. Therefore, Simplifying this, we'll have this one. The determinant will be this. This is positive 2. And this one is 5 minus 8. And this will be this uh, negative 1, the power of 3 is minus 1 uh, times the determinant of this one. It is 1 times 5 minus 4 times negative 3 uh, plus 0 times negative 1, the power of 4 is this 1. So it is 0 times 1 is 0 into the determinant of this 1 times 2 minus negative 3 times 1. Therefore, this will be equal to 2 times uh, this result is this negative 5 minus 8 it is negative 3 minus uh, 1 times this will be equal to 17 plus 0 times 5. Therefore, the final result will be it is negative 23. Therefore, the determinant of this uh, matrix is it is negative 23. By the way, you can try by using any row or column for you. Please try uh, to check or to find the determinant of this matrix by selecting this column. Select this column and multiply each entry by this cofactor. You will get the same result negative 23. Check this by yourself. The basic point is that we have seen today is to calculate the product of matrix AB, the number of columns of A must be equal to the number of rows of B. And the operation is done by row by column in such a way that each element of the row is multiplied by the corresponding element of the column and then the products are added and to calculate the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix simply first you have to choose any row or column and then multiply each in 3 by its cofactor and finally you add up the products so this gives you the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix so this is uh, the basic concept that we have seen today so for you to try, I will give you questions. Please try these questions by yourself and check your understanding. So this is all about today's lesson. I will give you one minute to copy this question. 
So until next lecture class, goodbye.